I'll show you how to get started using the Respiratory Algorithms Toolbox. There are two items I'll use for this, and both are available on the project homepage. The first of these is the latest set of algorithms. The second is a data set to analyse. And for this I'll use the synthetic data set, which is available in MATLAB format. Opening the location where these are downloading to. Since the dataset takes several minutes to download, I've already downloaded it, and this is it as a zip file. I'll unzip the file, and I'll also unzip the algorithms. I'll then prepare the algorithms. The latest version is currently version 3.0. Firstly, I'll add the main script, which is rrs.m, to the search bar. And secondly, I'll make an adjustment to the universal parameter script, which will be required for your computer. Scrolling down, there's a section called File Paths to be specified. And here it asks for the directory containing the dataset file. Going back to the dataset file, here is the file, and I'll find out its path, copy its path to the clipboard and then paste that in, taking care to add a file separator at the end. I then save that change and now I'm ready to run the analysis. To do so I type the command rrs and then in brackets the name of the dataset, which in this case is rrsynth. That's now running the analysis. So what exactly is it doing? Well, it's created a new directory in the same folder as the dataset. And within this directory, firstly, it's copied the dataset file. And secondly, it's creating individual files for each of the subjects within the dataset. There are 192 subjects in this dataset. And gradually, they're being analysed. These files will be added to and further files will be generated and this will take several minutes to run. If you would like further information then this can be obtained on the project homepage. There is a user manual which contains a wealth of information on the toolbox and also a list of frequently asked questions where there's also a link to get in touch should you have further queries. Thank you.